हॅलो एव्हरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल इन अवर यूट्यूब चॅनल वैष्णवी नलावडे इन टुडेज व्हिडिओ लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ अवर थर्ड चॅप्टर प्लांट इश्यू कल्चर इन फार्माकोग्नोसी अँड फायटोकेमिस्ट्री वन ओके सो नेक्स्ट पॉईंट दॅट इज टाईप्स ऑफ कल्चर्स इन दॅट देअर आर टू टाईप्स ऑफ कल्चर्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द टाईप ऑफ मिडियम अँड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द पार्ट यूज फॉर कल्चर ओके देअर आर टू टाईप्स ऑफ कल्चर्स इन दॅट फर्स्ट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द टाईप ऑफ मिडियम अँड सेकंड वन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द पार्ट यूज फॉर कल्चर सो फर्स्ट वन टाईप इन दॅट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द टाईप ऑफ मिडियम डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द टाईप ऑफ मिडियम इन दॅट फर्स्ट दॅट इज कल्चर देअर आर टू टाईप्स सस्पेन्शन कल्चर or static culture that is static that is callous culture so suspension culture and callous culture so in suspension culture there are three types in that batch culture semi continuous culture and continuous culture in continuous cultures there are two types open type and closed type in open type there are again two types that is turbidostats and chemostats these are the types of cultures based upon the type of medium okay culture divided into two types in medium that is suspension culture or callous culture then in suspension culture again subdivided into batch culture suspension culture semi continuous culture and continuous culture in continuous culture again subdivided into two types that is open type and closed type open type again subdivided into turbidostat and chemostat okay so one by one upon bahuya then next point that is depending on the part used for culture in that organ culture hairy root culture and protoplast culture and somatic hybridization these are three points in depending on the part used for culture ओके ऑर्गन कल्चरमध्ये रूट टिप कल्चर शूट टिप कल्चर लिव्ज और लिफ प्रायमोर्डिया कल्चर फ्लोअर कल्चर अँथर अँड पोलन्स कल्चर ओव्ह्युल अँड एम्ब्रिओ कल्चर अँड ओव्हरीज कल्चर न्यूक्लियस कल्चर सीड कल्चर कॉटिलिडॉन कल्चर एंडोस्पम कल्चर फ्रूट कल्चर प्लांट सेल कल्चर देन दीज आर द ऑर्गन कल्चर अँड नेक्स्ट दॅट इज हेअर रूट कल्चर प्रोटोप्लास्ट कल्चर अँड सोमॅटिक हायब्रिडायझेशन दीज आर कम्स अंडर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द पार्ट यूज फॉर कल्चर देन नेक्स्ट दॅट इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द मिडियम ओके सो स्टॅटिक कल्चर दॅट इज कॅलस कल्चर कॅलस म्हणजे काय ए मास ऑफ अनडिफरन्शिएटेड प्लांट सेल्स ग्रोन ऑन सॉलिड मिडिया फ्रॉम प्लांट पार्ट और एक्स प्लांट कॅलस काय आहे मास आहे ऑफ मास ऑफ अनडिफरन्शिएटेड प्लांट सेल ग्रोन ऑन सॉलिड मिडिया फ्रॉम प्लांट पार्ट और एक्स प्लांट इट मे इनिशिएट फ्रॉम एक्स प्लांट ऑफ एनी मल्टी सेल्युलर प्लांट इट मे इनिशिएट फ्रॉम एक्स प्लांट ऑफ एनी मल्टी सेल्युलर प्लांट द ऑर्गन सच ऐज रूट स्टेम टिप्स स्टेम टिप्स लिव्स फ्लॉवर्स एंड फ्रूट आर ग्रोन ऑन सॉलिड मीडिया ऑर्गन्स यूज इन द कल्चर इन दैट रूट स्टेम टी फ्लॉवर्स लिव्स फ्रूट्स दैट ग्रोन ऑन सॉलिड मीडिया the cell groups are initiated from x plant or segments of root stem or leaf either from the mature or embryogenic plant x plant or segments of root stem or leaf either from the mature or embryogenic plant x plant or excised fragments of parenchyma or mixed tissue containing cambium or endosperm explant or excised fragments of parenchyma or mixed tissue containing cambium or endosperm the longer t- the, the longer the tissue explant the more complex the range of cell types and greater the possibilities of initiating a culture of mixed cell 
then callus can be induced to undergo organogenesis and or embryogenesis and eventually whole plant by providing sustainable or suitable nutrient medium to study the biosynthetic pathway of various metabolic processes by using tracer elements in callus culture it is useful for the production of secondary metabolites okay these are the static culture or callus culture okay then next that is suspension culture in suspension culture it involves active proliferation of callus as undivided unit suspended or submerged in liquid medium it involves active proliferation of callus as undivided unit suspended or submerged in a liquid medium the nutrient medium in this case is in constant agitation so as to prevent the cells from settling or aggregating into clumps nutrient medium je asnar ahe te kasna asnar kas asnar hai tasa sathi constant agitation asnar hai ka tar prevent the cells from settling or aggregating into clumps then suspension cultures are normally initiated by transferring pieces of undifferentiated callus to a liquid medium which is agitated during incubation suspension cultures are normally initiated by transferring pieces of undifferentiated callus to a liquid medium which is agitated during incubation suspension cultures are normally initiated by transferring pieces of undifferentiated callus to a liquid medium which is agitated during incubation then batch suspension culture in that it means culture in a fixed volume of culture medium it means culture in a fixed volume of cultures medium in general a nutrient medium in general a nutrient medium and cellular inoculum are mixed aerated and allowed to grow in general nutrient medium and cellular inoculum are mixed aerated and allowed to grow in batch cultures as the cells grow the medium is depleted of nutrients and metabolic by products from the cells accumulate in batch cultures as the cells grow the medium is depleted of nutrients and metabolic by products from the cells accumulate batch cultures are characterized by continuous changes in the medium continuous internal changes in cellular composition accumulation of metabolic products these are the characteristics batch cultures are characterized by these three in that continuous changes in the medium continuous internal changes in cellular composition and third one is accumulation of metabolic products then the system is closed with respect to additions or removal of culture except for circulation of air by suspension culture it means culture in a fixed volume of culture medium okay then semi continuous suspension culture in the system is open there is periodic removal of culture and the addition of fresh medium due to which growth of the culture is continuously maintained these are semi continuous suspension continuous suspension in that the system is open here also same semi continuous and continuous madhe system kay ahe open hai so in continuous system in these systems volume of culture remains constant and fresh medium is added continuously to a fixed volume of growing culture and withdraw okay to your semi continuous madhe periodic removal of culture and continuous madhe fresh medium is added continuously and volume of culture remains constant okay then next in that cell proliferation takes place under constant condition this system allows establishment of steady states of growth and metabolism study of the changes which occur in 
transitions from one steady state to another identification of the controlling factors then there are two types of continuous suspension culture in that open type and closed type in open type that is chemostat and turbidostat and in that open type open type that is regulated new medium and balancing harvest of equal volume of culture open type that is regulated new medium and balancing harvest of equal volume of culture then chemostat chemostat in that continuous new medium this input is set at a predetermined rate and determine the nature of the resulting equilibrium useful to study the steady states desired rate of growth is maintained by adjusting the level of concentration of nutrient by constant inflow of culture medium okay chemostat kay ahe continuous new medium input is set as a predetermined rate and determine the nature of the resulting equilibrium okay desired rate of growth is maintained by adjusting the level of concentration of nutrient by constant inflow of medium turbidostat turbidostat that is cell density is set at a predetermined level that is as monitored by the optical properties of the culture and new medium is added to maintain cell density within the limits so particularly valuable for work at low cell densities offers a simplified system for study of effects of physical factors and growth regulating substance in growth rate and associated metabolism these are turbidostat cell density is set at predetermined level as monitored by the optical properties of the culture and new medium is added to maintain cell density within limits so particularly valuable for work at low cell densities offers a simplified system for study of effects of physical factors and growth regulating substance in growth rate and associated metabolism then closed type in that the used medium is replaced with fresh medium hence the cells from used medium are mechanically separated and added back to the culture and thus the cell biomass keeps increasing closed type in that the used medium is replaced with fresh medium hence the cells from used medium are mechanically separated and add back to the culture and thus the cell biomass keeps increasing okay these are all about the cultures depend up, depending upon the types of medium okay in that you can see this again types of cultures that is depending upon the type of medium that is culture sub again subdivided into suspension culture and static culture that is callus culture suspension cultures again divided into three types batch culture semi continuous culture and continuous culture in continuous culture there are two types open type and closed type in that there are two types that is turbidostats and chemostats under the open type of culture okay so today we will stop here thank you everyone for fully watching this video stay safe happy learning if you are not subscribed to my channel then subscribe first and press the bell icon to get latest updates of upcoming videos thank you thank you so much